Hey guys, Mark here from Custom 3D Printing and today I'm just going to show you how I engrave my images in the iPhone cases. So I'll just go to iPhones. So I've just started the website so I'm still adding products every day. Uh, basically we can engrave any image into an iPhone case so if you want a personal iPhone case just send us an image and we'll do it up for you. Uh, this here, the line, I just did the other day so I'm just going to show you how I engrave it, how I get the pictures in there. So here you can choose any color and then choose which model you would like you be able to add it. So anyway, we'll jump into Blender and basically I did the iPhone case in FreeCAD and then I just brought it into Blender and so yeah, just pretty much import the ST STL then open the image you want down in here, add image, so I'll just add it again so you can see. Uh, where are we? Patterns, line. Alright, so get your line to pop up. You can kind of place it wherever you want. Now I'll just get it roughly the same shape as this. Yeah, it's about the same. You can size it up here. Um, I'll just bring it over here and I'll just go from here. So, go Shift A, add a curve, path, scale it down. Now what we want is to put the little yellow dot right in the middle there. So that's we're gonna mirror. We're gonna mirror it so it's half the work's already done. Alright, so just push G and move that out of the way. Come over to yeah. Your modifiers, put a mirror modifier, and you can see it there, it's already mirroring that. So, I might just put this down here so I can duplicate it. And basically, you just now just trace the image around. Might take you a bit of time getting used to the path tool, but. I think after an hour or two you'll pretty much get the hang of it. So I'm just going to do this and maybe fast forward the video a little bit and I'll pause it when I'm done. All right, I've done all the curving, so I just now have to convert it into a mesh. So I just push C to get my brush, highlight that little one because I'm not going to use it, delete it, and then so I just push Tab to go back into 
object mode and then control C or alt C to mesh and as you can see it's gone from a few dots and lines to a lot of dots and I now have to fill these in with faces because it's just some dots so pretty much just select one try and get all the dots without these ones and push F for face and then just do that again for all of them deselect that make sure none of these are just that selected get out of your brush and push F Hmm, it seems to be working all that good. Let's try that again. F. Alright. So just. You have to be in wireframe mode for it to get all the dots. So I select it all, push F. And now you can see the face is getting selected. So I'll just fast forward this bit while you watch. <clears throat> all right I've filled in all the faces as you can see but it's just a skinny little plane so I have to extrude them all so still in edit mode just tap A to select and deselect select all push E to extrude pull it down a bit about there and then just A again to deselect and select again and recalculate just as you're seeing you can kind of see it's light and dark it's because it needs to be recalculated and now it's all nice so with that all done now let's engrave it into our iPhone case this is the fun part so I'll just go to my top angle, select the lion, put them in about there, maybe up a little. Just push Z to go to solid mode. So he's down the bottom but not coming out the top, so I'll just bring him up a bit. Sticking out. Sticking out there, I might just scale it on the z-axis a little. Alright, I think we're good to go. So select the iPhone case, go to modifiers, add modifier, boolean, go to difference, and then you can either select, I don't know, there's heaps of selection there, I just go to the eyedropper tool and click on the line. Now need a second to... All right. <laughs> if it can't operate, it's just something is not quite right, I think, with the line. Let's go into edit mode. Push A, deselect, Z for wireframe, and then you've got to be in vertex mode. Control, Alt, Shift, M, and there's my problem. Alright, so it's just kind of something weird going on here. What I'll do is 
I'll just select these. You can see that little bit up here. Basically, this is just telling me that there's a gap in here. If I can get in there close. So it's just that little gap. Let me just do this. Close that off. See a little gap there. Push F to close that off. So when I check it, it's still there. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, because there's a face created inside of that. So I'm just going to face, delete that face. And there you go. Now this one is, what I might do with this is just replace it with the other side. So I'm just going to select all this, delete, uh, grab this one, that's Rotate it on the Y by 180, and that looks a bit better. All right, so now it should cut in there. <laughs> so select the iPhone case difference, the eyedropper, and then select the line. Now hopefully, there we go, push apply, just wait a second, and there you go, just drag this up so you can see it. So that's the process I do to engrave images, uh, as you can see, I just did that with the floral. I just made all the four around it. So if we jump back into here, you can get it on the website, just $15. And we can just print that up and send it out to you. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time.